Hey guys, Turner Vapes from American Vape News and Reviews here today to do a product review on a new RTA. This is coming from the Watofo company. It is the Support RTA. This is the remake of a classic RDA, the Support RDA. That is a very, very nice dripping atomizer that many of us in the industry have used for several years. So we're gonna sit back, we're gonna open this thing up, do some unboxing, we're gonna build on it, we're gonna talk about it, we're gonna vape it, so check it out. So, we got nice branding, it's a very nice box that this comes in. Support RTA, it comes with a scratch off security code to check for authenticity on their website, which is always a plus. Box slides out inside we have a very detailed instruction manual for how we should build on it. We have a replacement glass. We have the RTA. It says Watofo on the one side, Sapor on the other. We'll look into this here more in just a minute. Underneath here, we have some Japanese sheet cotton. We have some pre-built twisted coils. And we have replacement O-rings, the Allen key, and it looks like uh, four replacement grub screws. Hold on to that bag. Always hold on to that bag. So that's what's in the package. Let's see if we can't dig into this thing, tear it apart, and see what it's made out of. All right, so let's see if we can't break this down and see what this thing is made of. First thing I notice is a nice big drip tip chuff on top. It's, it's pretty, pretty beefy looking. It's got a nice big clean bore. O-ring, so we don't have to worry about uh, any leaking but you'll notice that this is not a fully solid tip this is a standard 510 so any 510 drip tip will replace this but it's a nice solid large tip for the top there we have our fill cap nice double sided top fill Here we have our air, uh, which is kind of unique on an RTA that we're picking up all of our air from the top. Um, this will fully close and stop, fully open and stop. Whatever's on one side will be on the other. If we go half, we've got half there. So. It's a nice design. You're going to see in a minute that the air does not go directly into the tank, which would defeat the purpose here. On the bottom, we see the holes that our juice is going to get through. It is an open close. So I'm going to take this off. Let's see this build deck here. Um, the designs around uh, the, the grooves here that are machined into the side of the build deck make it very easy to unscrew you'll see that little dot there will line up with the holes the juice holes so you'll you'll know whether you're open or closed we have a nice 22 millimeter build deck here two millimeter holes on a velocity style deck we have four wells for your cotton and your juice will pick up it's kind of hard to see there your juice is going to pick up through the holes where your cotton is we look at the inside of the tank you see those six holes that's where the air is going to come down through the inside of the chimney 
and straight into the build. It does not go through the tank. So with that being said, this is going to be an RTA that should not leak because we have no air inlets at the bottom to leak out of unless you were to turn it sideways or upside down. I guess there's still a possibility. So that's what we're here to talk about. We're going to uh, throw a build on this bad boy, see if we can't get it waked up and see how she does. Okay, so we're gonna build this up. We're just gonna use the coils that Watofo sent. We're gonna wake it up with some of that cotton candy wicks because we like to taste our vape. So these are not coils I would typically use, but they sent them. Let's see how they do. These are very, very nicely machined post holes on this support RTA. They are actually chamfered on both sides to keep the wire from coming out. Pre-made coils came out to 0.2 ohms. Let's get them nice and centered here. Work out some hot spots and get some wick in there. Not bad little coils. Cool that off for a minute, and we'll get that cotton candy in it. Get some deliciousness going. So we've got a built We're wicking up with that cotton candy wicks. Available online at cotton candy dot rocks. We've uh, got some nice fluffy cotton here. We're going to fold and tuck the cotton down into these holes so that I can't see what I'm doing. So the juice will come in right here and pick up the cotton. So let's see how well we can get this in on our first try. Not bad at all. Looks like the trick is just to get the bottom started down and tucked into the hole. So you can see we're getting it down into that pocket and it is coming down here to pick up our juice. We'll get the other side done. It's look like that and we'll go from there. Okay, as you see, 
we got that cotton candy wicks on both sides, both coils. We're tucked in all the way around. I left a little bit of fluff hanging out just so we can guarantee we pick up all the juice there. We're going to do a little pre-soak on our cotton. I'm gonna be vaping some Vape Crusaders Vanish 414. It's a nice blueberry, strawberry cream. Blueberry, strawberry cream juice here. This is available at vapecrusaders.net. Very delicious. Just gonna get it a little bit wet, burn a little bit off. That way we're ready when I get juice in the tank. I don't have to wait for it to uh, get all soaked in. Definitely not trying to have dry cotton on my taste buds tonight. Alright, get her put back together. I don't know how well I'll be able to show this, but you see the dot on this bottom ring right above my finger there is lined up with the hole on top. That means it's closed. See open, all the way to the dot is closed. We got our two juice holes. We're gonna fill the top of this tank up. This has a two milliliter capacity, according to the manufacturer. So we'll drop our two mils in. Again, we're vaping on Vape Crusaders Vanish 414 tonight. One of my favorite juices, Vape Crusaders. Check them out. So we're all filled up. We're gonna get our cap back on. Get our air hole open. And the very last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna open that, the juice holes to the build deck at the bottom. We're just gonna uh, turn it until we see the open. Now, this is the part where most RTAs will start leaking because the juice holes, juice, the air holes are down here. So, you see, no liquid coming out, guys. Let's uh, take a minute and then we're gonna see how she leaves. So, here's the moment we've all been waiting for. I'm running it at 70 watts, which is 4.01 volts with the 0.2 build that came with the pre-made wire. I'm gonna run the air holes halfway open. Let's see how she vapes. Very good flavor. That Vape Crusaders is coming through just as good as it does on any dripping atomizer. delicious I like the air you can feel that it's a nice warm vape I think that's because the way the air comes down and goes through the coil and then comes back up through the chimney all right guys so that was the support RTA from Watofo I find this to be a very enjoyable little RTA 22 millimeter with the two milliliter juice capacity great flavor and I would highly recommend that you guys give this a chance it's from a proven company that has been in the industry for a long time and they're still pushing it they're still putting out new things so everybody go check it out Turner Vapes from American Vape News and Reviews. Remember, the hotter the candy, the sweeter your vape. Have a good night, guys.